Hello and welcome to Structural Dynamics at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Structural Dynamics is the study of time-varying forces and the interesting effects they can have on structures. This is important for several reasons, one of which is the failures they can cause. These time-varying forces can be amplified by the structure. One well-known example is the Galloping Gertie Bridge in Washington in the 1940s. Here the wind, a relatively small force, is being amplified by the motion of the structure, leading to this large vibration which eventually led to the collapse and destruction of the entire bridge. Now we don't hear about bridges collapsing on the news anymore, so you may think that failures such as this are not common today. But actually, these types of fa failures are still very common in a variety of industries, such as the automotive industry, aerospace industry. And while launch failures such as what you see here are not as common as they used to be, even today a surprising f percentage of the satellites that we send into space arrive there broken already due to the dynamic loads that they've experienced on the way to launch. Another reason we're interested in studying vibrations is because even small motions can produce annoying sound. For example, no one will pay the big bucks for a car that sounds like that. So Lexus spends a lot of money engineering their car, and this is the sound they achieve. Similar kinds of issues are important for other vehicle manufacturers as well. And the last area that we are interested in vibration is performance, making something move in just the way that we want it to. For example, when a golfer swings a golf club, they're swinging a flexible shaft and they want to align the head of the driver with the ball in a very precise way at the moment of impact or at the time of impact. So that's an interesting vibration problem. Similar issues arise in robotics and other areas where we want things to move at high speed. While we've achieved some pretty amazing feats in structural dynamics over the past 50 years, there's continual pressure to make the same vehicle more inexpensively, or to make structures that are lighter, cheaper, aircraft that can go faster. Our research group focuses on novel techniques such as exploiting nonlinearity to make structures quieter and lighter, stronger, and to make aircraft that are faster than we've ever made before.